There's a lot of cool technology in the world, but there's not a lot of cool technology which has been really built to help people directly. As we make this app through thoughtful design, we don't make a product which ends up only helping people who are already pretty good at using a computer. Hello, I'm Jason. I'm a junior at Stanford. I help build Mida with a couple of friends. Mida is an app which turns hundreds of languages into polished English. I came up with the original idea after talking with my mom. She's been in the US for two decades, uh, but sometimes she still feels like she's judged for not having perfect English. So we built this app, we gave it to my mom, she loved it, and then we started giving it to more and more people and eventually we went viral. In order to use our app, all you need to do is say any language, whether that's English, Chinese, Chinglish, Hindi, French, Franglish, and we'll be able to recognize that. And we turn whatever you say into professional and polished English so you can sound your best. Let me give an example. Hello, I'm Jason. Stanford University. computer science. I press stop. It's transcribing. Here's the output. Hello, I'm Jason. I'm currently a student at Stanford University majoring in computer science. Coming up with the Mida app is definitely one of the wildest experiences in my entire life. Mida is a culmination of the immigrant experience. For context, I'm working with two friends, uh, Scott and Schwinn. Scott's from France and Schwinn is from Thailand. This is great because we can test it with three different user groups from countries as well as America. So we gave it to a group of six users, uh, most of them immigrants. And within three days, all of them told me they loved it. And on the fourth day, I got a text from one of our users. She's a mom and her mom had had a heart attack. She started just texting me screenshots of her app. And on those screenshots, Mida was translating surgical procedures. So she'd been using her app to talk to her doctors when her mom had had a heart attack. And I still remember getting that text. I was in the car, I was about to drive and I just started tearing up and it really felt like we had built something really important. That's when we decided to go full on with it. I made a post about it which went viral and we're going from there. When you're building an app that is live and has users in more than 50 countries, you want to make your app as accessible and seamless as possible. So every single part of our app, we need to craft it to be very simple to use across cultures. We have users from like 12 to 80. Everything from the way our buttons work to our text has been crafted over time. We're constantly shuffling it to try to make it better. There's a lot of cool technology in the world, but there's not a lot of cool technology which has been really built to help people directly. And it's really important as we make this app through thoughtful design to think about our users, to think about the ways they use this app and make it more convenient and accessible such that we don't make a product which ends up you know, only helping people who are already pretty good at using a computer. This is the goal. We want everyone to feel super confident, elevated, and polished, especially if they're a non-native English speaker. We want to empower people. I think empowerment is so exciting. My family, we feel empowered by being in the United States. We try to achieve our American dream. Or I feel empowered, I can actually do this programming stuff even though it seems really scary. And everything I touch, I, I want to make sure that through the work, people feel excited about what they can do. Because I think that everyone has a lot of potential. Sometimes they're just like little barriers in the way and just to shuffle those around, they can go out and do great things. I think whatever I do in life, I want to work on something and build something that people really care about that's deeply helpful to people.